all right guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to take a look at something i've already posted before i think i made a video about how to record in a first you the best way you could set up your recording session and uh, over time i've discovered some other interesting way and a very easy way you could set up your fl studio while you are working on your project that you could record very effectively and without being distracted so with this method you could be able to record like qbs and every other digital uh, you know audio workstation out there so this is going to make your workflow very easy so without wasting time let's go right into the video with this uh, method you could be able to you know set up your recording tracks right from your playlist and be able to link every channel from your playlist to the mixer and you can monitor directly from the playlist and you don't need to go back and forth that much when you are doing this so i think uh, we talk about setting up your audio device your sound card and stuff on the last video so on this one we are just going to you know dive straight into the video so step one this is how you go about it one of the things i've discovered recently is that you could be able to link each track here directly to the mixer so you don't have to be routing routing every time so what you do is you right click on the track then you go to track mode track mode then you select a mixer channel that you want that track to be linked so let's say i select this uh, track one i want to link it to track one on the mixer so now we have selected it and look at what it bring it's have this audio input source and it has this record arm and the sum and then it has monitor so how to set up your mic you can just go straight to the input and then you select your mic channel my mic is on the channel one i think in one so i'll pick there then, then now, now you, you could, could hear me you could, could hear me, me. Let, let me turn, turn it, it off. off so now if you don't want to be hearing yourself while you're recording so you can just turn off the monitor yeah you can see you can just turn off the monitor from here although there are some other uh, settings here where you can do post effect and post eq and stuff i think that's like if you just want to be hearing your effect and stuff from the mixer and some kind of other things but for now we are focusing on just the monitor so you turn it off so that you don't hear yourself then now there is a record button here so i want to show you how this works now if I come here now, you can see my microphone is reading on the track one. And if you come back here now, it's reading on the sat one. So it is telling you that I have linked this to the track uh, in sat one on the mixer and everything is working together. So I can now add effects here. Let's say I add this EQ. So I add this EQ here. Let me just use this. So now, any effect I add to this will reflect back right on the playlist where I'm monitoring. So with this method, what you gain is that any track on the playlist that you move to this uh, particular, you know, channel, it's actually carry the effect on the mixer. So you don't have to be like oh you are recording you are putting effect on different stuff so you could just run everything right in the place just as you do on QBs and every other uh, stuff because most people normally complain that fl studio uh, is kind of you know ethic when you're coming uh, recording when you're talking about recording so with this method it's become simple and then you can record now so let me record something so we we'll see how it goes. So let's go. 
so now you see it is recording on the track without any distraction so in case now you have your instrumental you are recording on the track so you could do this and duplicate this track to create your lead vocal background and anything you like but there is another thing this could automatically create a different channel under it so it becomes a folder where you can you know record and arrange all your stuff together with just this single track and apply the same effect across everything so let's go let's listen so now you see it is recording on the track without any distraction so in case now you have your instrumental you are recording on the track so you could do this and all right so another another act now I will record on that thing. Let's just assume this is my lead vocal. So I'll record on that thing now. And you will see that it will create a folder and put it inside the folder. So the same effect I'm going to apply on the mixer track will reflect on everything that is under this folder. So let me record on that thing again. So let me just mute this. And let's go again. All right, you can see now insert one is now carrying another folder inside of it insert one so like assuming i recorded my lead vocal and this is a ad lib or a background voice this is still going to be organized under the folder and every effect applied on the mixer track will affect everything happening here which means you don't have to stress creating too many stuff you can now organize and arrange everything very easily within this space and not moving back and forth and again it saves your ram because the same effect will be applied to the vocal so it saves your ram while you are recording so now we can listen to both of them together there might be a little chaos so now you All see right, you can see now on the track so that's it so this is really like one of the best way you could record in FSD. I've seen people recording uh, through the Edison or the Editor. People are recording on the playlist. Me, I record on the playlist too, but of recent, I've been like working and discovering different ways that you could record. I don't know if this will help you. If you already know about this, no problem, but if you are kind of new to FSD and, you know, trying to get to understand things better, I think this video help you and let's see some other stuff here so let me go and put effects so that you can see that the effects i'll put here it will duplicate okay will no 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 will affect it so let me just have the uh, fruity river where is this fruity river two so uh for certain reason my effect might not be uh you know add because i turn off monitoring so let's play it and see without any distraction so in case now you have your instrumental you are recording on the track so you could do this and duplicate so now you see the effect is on the reverb is here now let me play the other uh Vocal, I'll be the other recording on the folder. Grand voice, this is still going to be organized on that. So now let's say you have an auto tune, you have your delay, your stuffs on that mixer track. Now it will affect everything you're working here. So easy for you to record very fast without going back and forth trying to, you know, put this and that in every position. This is very easy. So let me do something now. If I duplicate this track now i can also duplicate this and get the same effect into another uh stuff so let me say clone let me clone it so now you say clone they say what do you want to clone along they are asking whether you want to clone the pattern the audio the automation the effect and the group so i can say all of them and or i can uncheck the audios and let me show you how it come so now look at it we have two recording track now and again all of them links back to 
in satsu so with this method it's very easy for you to arrange and organize your stuff so without wasting time i think uh, we should call it a day eh? yeah so that's it for this video so if you find this video useful please drop likes comment share and we we'll see again in another video and you could you know drop a comment on the kind of video that you would like me to you know do if you want me to do any video maybe regarding recording maybe making beat mixing any stuff that i mean you want to learn maybe we could do something about that so bye